Oh, is that everything you hoped for? Drew's still out. But man, can't deny that view. Hello YouTubers, my name is David and I'll be your host for the 2014 video countdown of the best graphics in gaming. Before we begin, I'd like to thank you all for the feedback and support on my 2013 countdown, which is my most viewed YouTube video of all time. We've since advanced into a new generation of gaming, and the games included in this video are games that have been released since the beginning of the transition into the new generation. The games are ranked based on a set of scoring criteria. More than anything else, gameplay graphics that approach real-world lifelike fidelity elicits a huge wow expression from the gamer, so realism is the first criterion. Next, since there are more ways to create impressive graphics than with photorealism, art direction and aesthetics will be taken into consideration. And finally, to appreciate what goes on behind the scenes, graphical technology will play a factor in game ranking. There were a lot of hard decisions, especially near the top of the countdown. Oftentimes, however, beauty is in the eye of the beholder, so there is room for discussion and debate of the rankings. After watching this video, let me know your thoughts about what games were too high on the countdown, what games were too low, and what games weren't included but should have been. Now let's shift gears and speed into game number 10. Racing games aren't generally known for their graphics, as the genre isn't as popular as more mainstream genres like shooters and action games. Nonetheless, Grid Autosport, a PC exclusive title, delivers the best graphics out of any racing title. The game released with a free high resolution texture pack download, bringing your car textures to 4K resolution. There are advanced lighting, shadowing, and reflection graphical effects such as global illumination and ambient occlusion that apply not only to cars in the racing circuit, but also to the backdrop scenery. You will probably crash a few times because you were looking at the scenery instead of focusing on the race. Car damage is realistic and highly detailed and how smoke billows from burning rubber and dirt kicks up as you skid across grass is well executed. Other racing games have crowd and foliage that look like cardboard cutouts. Grid, on the other hand, has crowd models that could pass for NPC characters and console versions of Watch Dogs. The biggest criticism I have for Grid's graphics are the car interiors are very plain and less pleasing to look at than other parts of the game. Racing purists might find Grid's gameplay subpar, but visually, Grid is an excellent choice for a sim setup. Gamers with multi-monitor setup should definitely give Grid a try in Nvidia Surround or AMD iFinity. Project Cars, releasing later in 2014, will attempt to dethrone Grid for best graphics in a racing game, but for now Grid Autosport accelerates into 10th place on the countdown. While Rome 2 Total War may not look as good as many other games when compared on a pixel to pixel level, the scale of what the game accomplishes visually is nothing short of astounding. The game renders literally thousands of units on the battlefield, all of which are individually detailed and have their individual physics. The battles are massive with the cinematic scale, and you can zoom in to focus on unit to unit warfare. The game launched with a lot of technical problems, including lack of multi-GPU support, but many patches have allowed the game to run a lot more smoothly. Real-time strategy is a genre that has diminished relative to MOBA-style strategy, but Rome 2 Total War shows that the genre has unfathomable limits in what it can accomplish technically. Rome 2 Total War commands 9th place on the countdown. They're coming! I know! Okay, that's good, that's good, go! Got something on your shoe. <sighs> Gross. When I released my best graphics countdown in 2013, there was, putting it mildly, an uproar from the PlayStation community when I didn't include The Last of Us. In all honesty, there was no justifiable reason to include a title that ran at 720p and 30 frames per second in the same countdown as games like Battlefield 3. Developers face an uphill battle when designing games for consoles due to hardware limitations. Naughty Dog is one of the better console exclusive developers because of their dedication to optimizing their engine for PlayStation hardware. With the improved hardware of the PlayStation 4, Naughty Dog finally gets the opportunity to release the game the way it should be played. The Last of Us Remastered for the PlayStation 4 runs at a rock solid 1080p 60 frames per second. 
taking place after the world is ravaged by a rapidly spreading infection from the Cordyceps fungus. The game follows Joel and Ellie as they travel across the remains of the United States, trying to survive and hold on to the last remnants of humanity as they know it. The narrative is compelling and the accompanying gameplay is just as enticing. There are brutally violent moments, but the violence in The Last of Us is fitting and representative of the undertone. Post-apocalyptic America is hauntingly portrayed. The destroyed environments evoke empathy for the characters and their struggle. Naughty Dog's artists outdid themselves in designing the environment. Realism in graphics is achieved by meticulous attention to detail. Character movements and animations are created through motion capture technology. Even with lower quality textures and less advanced graphical technology than PC games, The Last of Us manages to let the gamers suspend disbelief and truly immerse themselves in the world through convincing character movements and unimaginably detailed environmental design. The Last of Us Remastered stabs its way into 8th place on the countdown. Another console exclusive game, Metal Gear Solid Ground Zeroes is less of a game and more of a tech demo for Konami's Fox Engine, but that doesn't mitigate the impressiveness of the game's visuals. The game runs at 1080p and 60 frames per second. As a PC gamer, the game's graphics surpass my expectations of what the PS4 could accomplish. The game takes place during the height of the Cold War and as Big Boss who infiltrates an American black site in Cuba to rescue two prisoners. One of my favorite actors, Kiefer Sutherland, who many of you know as Jack Bauer, plays Big Boss and does the voice acting and motion capture. The animations have an extra layer of convincingness due to the utility of motion capture technology. The texture quality is nothing to scoff at and the graphics have excellent high performance anti-aliasing. The game's director, Hideo Kojima, has quite the ego, but he also has a perfectionist drive to match. For Metal Gear Solid 5, he will oversee every possible detail of the gameplay and graphics until it meets the lofty standards he set. If you are an aficionado of high quality gaming graphics, Metal Gear Solid Ground Zeroes is definitely a game to tide you over until Metal Gear Solid 5 releases with the Fox Engine running in full gear. Metal Gear Solid Ground Zeroes infiltrates into 7th place on the countdown. Who wants to show me where the penguin is? Batman Arkham Origins is a prequel game to the much venerated Arkham series of Batman games. Unlike many of the action heroes on this countdown, Batman has no need for weapons as crude and uncouth as guns, and dispatches enemies using his fists and sophisticated gadgetry. The gameplay is classic Batman. Strike from the shadows. The fighting controls are tight, combos are satisfying to execute, and the combat flows like choreography. Arkham Origins gives you an open world to explore as you exact vigilante justice on common thugs and supervillains such as the Penguin. Arkham Origins visuals are not as realism inspired as many other games in this countdown. Instead, the art design is modeled after comic books. The game does look like a comic book coming to life, which gives it a uniqueness advantage over almost all mainstream titles. The PC version of this game is rife with advanced graphical technology. Nvidia's GPU Accelerated Physics allows for dynamic smoke and Batman's cape physics. Nvidia's TXAA technology allows for efficient, high-quality anti-aliasing, and realistic shadows are rendered via advanced horizon-based ambient occlusion. Although many critics panned the gameplay for being too similar to previous games in the series, Arkham Origins is still a very welcome breath of fresh air compared to the oversaturation of the AAA gaming market with shooter after shooter. Batman Arkham Origins dive bombs into sixth place on the countdown. Sam Fisher appears to be pulling a Benjamin Button, becoming more agile and physically capable as he ages. The first of many Ubisoft games on this year's countdown, Splinter Cell Blacklist is the latest game that follows Fisher and the 4th Echelon team, now independent of all government ties save for the precedent. Much like Batman, Sam Fisher operates from shadow to shadow, his presence little more than that of a ghost. 
Blacklist allows the gamer to play with conventional style tactics or run and gun. Returning from Splinter Cell Conviction is the Mark and Execute feature, which allows for quick dispatching of multiple targets. In a game where Shadow and Light are life and death respectively, it is fitting that shadowing and lighting effects are some of the best in gaming. Although Blacklist was developed from a rather old engine, Unreal Engine 3, modern NVIDIA technology has allowed the graphics, much like Sam Fisher, to look a generation younger. NVIDIA's advanced horizon-based ambient occlusion creates realistic environments, and TXAA polishes jagged edges around geometry. Like the second best game on last year's countdown, Metro Last Light, Blacklist includes a very underappreciated gameplay feature that has been present since the first Splinter Cell. You have the ability to shoot out lights to create your own shadows and paths around enemies. Motion captured based animations add to the realism of character movements, and stealth takedowns are more satisfying than ever. Splinter Cell Blacklist strangles its way into 5th place on the countdown. For the second Ubisoft game on the countdown, the Assassins take to the high seas as pirates in Assassin's Creed Black Flag. You play as Edward Kenway, grandfather of Connor Kenway, the protagonist of Assassin's Creed 3. The waters of the Caribbean islands are open for you to pillage and plunder as you see fit. If you were to break down the graphical analysis at a microscopic level, the game may not overwhelm, but as a whole, the visuals are stunning. You have large cityscapes to traverse, and the series' sheer verticality is unmatched. The game is rife with NVIDIA graphical technologies. Advanced horizon-based ambient occlusion and global illumination contribute to realism and scenery lighting, and TXAA returns as an efficient form of anti-aliasing. GPU accelerated physics makes for dynamic particle and smoke effects, increasing the intensity and immersion of gunfights with black powder weaponry. Naval battles are epic engagements, especially when multiple factions are involved. The game provides near endless secrets to discover, treasures to uncover, and vistas to observe. Visiting Nassau in the game is the next best thing to visiting Nassau in real life. A strong entry in the Assassin's Creed franchise of games, Assassin's Creed, Black Flag does a leap of faith into fourth place on the countdown. As the third consecutive Ubisoft game on the countdown, Watch Dogs received a lot of pre-release controversy because the final release graphics on console did not remotely resemble the graphics of the game build Ubisoft had shown at gaming press conferences. Nonetheless, the PC version of the game does have easily accessible game files that recreates the splendid graphics in the demo build. The game takes place in a near future imagining of Chicago, where all electronics are connected via a central operating system or CTOS. You play as Aiden Pierce, a skilled hacker who takes advantage of the communications hyperconnectivity to complete objectives. With control of the city's infrastructure, you can manipulate traffic lights to cause accidents, rupture pipelines, control bridges, and even cause blackouts. Watch Dogs features the best implementation of NVIDIA's graphical lighting technologies of any game, and this allows for creating high-fidelity scenes of nighttime Chicago. The game looks even more realistic during rainy weather scenes, as the reflections are extremely high quality and add to the visual realism. The geometry shaders are first rate, the long draw distances are impressive, and the depth of field gives additional substance to each scene. The reason Watch Dogs did not make the finals of this countdown are that smaller details, such as weapon and NPC character models, do not have the same level of polish as the rest of the world. Regardless, Watch Dogs is an immersive graphical experience. There are hours of gameplay to be found just walking around ignoring missions to look at the expertly crafted virtual landscape. Watch Dogs hacks into third place on the countdown. The runner-up in this year's best graphics countdown, Arma 3 is a game that prides itself on being the most true-to-life combat experience that you can have sitting behind a monitor in an air-conditioned bedroom. Everything about the game tries to be as realistic as possible, and realistic visuals definitely help in the immersion. Sandbox mode allows you to play on the island of Altus with an area of 270 square kilometers in which to roam around. All the character models, weapon models, structures, vehicles, and vegetation are meticulously designed. 
The ARMA 3 engine, Virtual Reality by Bohemia Interactive, is a technological marvel, allowing for sophisticated graphical effects and some of the longest draw distances in all of gaming. The game engine was created with moderate resources in mind, so some of the weaker textures can be further improved upon. Arma 3 was not optimized, meaning poor frame rate performance with low system resource usage, so it takes a strong PC to be able to run the game at its high graphical settings. Even then, the game was designed with longevity in mind, and the graphics will continue to impress well into the future as technology evolves and gamers are better able to run the game with playable frame rates. Armor 3 scooches to second place on the countdown. Winning the top spot on this year's countdown, Battlefield 4 is the benchmark by which all other games' graphics are compared. Every gameplay moment plays out like a set piece in a Michael Bay movie. The Frostbite 3 engine enables unparalleled environment destructibility, even allowing for an entire skyscraper to collapse. Destruction is not just eye candy. You can destroy or create cover to generate choke points for a tactical advantage. Battles take place on very diverse settings, from snowy mountains to urban jungles, and from islands to deserts. No two battles play out in the same way because of how many unique ways you can destroy the environment. The textures are polished and models are detailed. Ambient inclusion technology allows for realistically lighted scenes. The maps are large, with long draw distances that make extreme range sniping very satisfying. With high speed, low drag gameplay that matches the graphical intensity, Battlefield 4 jihads into first place on the countdown. This concludes my 2014 countdown of the best graphics in video games. You could have been watching any of the millions of other gaming videos on YouTube, but instead you're here, listening to my semi-coherent droning. I really appreciate your time on my videos, be sure to leave a comment on your choices for what games on the countdown were too high or too low, and what games you would have included instead. And be sure to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss next year's countdown. My name's David and I will see you next video. Hey.